I think Falcons fans are going to see a player who plays extremely hard. Um, you know, somebody who really is competitive and cares about winning. You know, somebody who's going to be excited for his teammates when, you know, we have success. Uh, but just kind of the ultimate competitor. Troy Anderson from Montana State. Bobcat was a quarterback, then a running back, then an outside linebacker, then an inside linebacker. And uh, he is fun to watch. He just pulverizes blockers. Some of these college linebackers don't take on. He does. Mm. Woo-hoo! 4-4-1. Four, four, yeah. Great way to start. Pre-draft process, you know, it was, it was unique. Everybody goes through it one time in their career. Um, but I think that it, it went well. Coming from a place like Montana State, it is, a, it is a smaller school, and I feel like, you know, you always have that chip on your shoulder um, to kind of prove yourself and, and prove you're worthy of, of being there and being, you know, selected or, or picked up or, or whatever. As the game is evolving to where we're seeing these decathletes playing defense, Anderson is someone that is really intriguing. I believe he is going to come off the board in the second round, and a team is going to use him as a Swiss Army knife because he brings so many talents and tools to the table. You don't, um, I guess, know how to react. Uh, you know, I, I looked at my phone and it was like Atlanta, Georgia. I looked on the TV and they were picking next, and I was like, man, I got to answer that one. Troy. How you doing? This is Terry Funkle with the Falcons. You know, whole whole mix of emotions kind of running through your head. It's it's crazy and surreal in the moment, and you know being with your family and friends makes it all the more special. With the 58th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Troy Anderson, linebacker, Montana State. <laughs> 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 You know, somebody said that Montana is, it's a small state with one long main road. Um, there's only a million people in the state. I mean, I've been reached out to by people from, you know, Billings, Missoula, Helena, everywhere, everywhere around the state. It's, it's kind of a, a small, tight-knit community. Um, family and friends have been, been awesome. You're kind of a madman, all gas, no brakes is your playing style, which is what makes you so much fun. Daniel Jeremiah talked about your take on, it's less of a take on than a torpedo in the blocks that are coming after you. Um, is that just your mindset? Did you grow up, were you like that as a as a kid on the playgrounds, just 100% straight ahead and kind of a hell or high water mentality? Yeah, I think so. We had flag football growing up and, you know, if you miss the, miss the flag, you're just gonna tackle them. Sometimes that gets you in trouble with some of the other parents. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's, Always, that's what I wanted to play is defense. Just that mentality, the physicality of it um, has always been enjoyable to me. Getting down here and, and meeting the guys and meeting the coaches and getting to work, um, it's been, you know, it's been a dream and I'm really looking forward to continuing to, to work hard and, and learn and, you know, take it day by day and try to embrace it and have fun with it. Um, obviously, it's, it's going to be a challenge, but it's a tremendous opportunity that I'm really excited for, whether it be training camp or preseason games or, you know, hopefully eventually the regular season. It's been my lifelong dream and, you know, hopefully it comes to fruition and I'm really, really excited for that opportunity.